Welcome to another video on my channel. Now I am praying that you can see us clearly because I'm too far away to check if it's right. So let's pray. We are doing a mukbang today. I'm Gregoria by the way if you're new here. And here on this channel we talk about all things esoteric, spiritual, quantum physics and all the things in between. I have a special guest today, my sister. Yo, yo, yo. From the same mister and the same mother. <laughs> Um, oh, I'm banging on the door, sorry. And <laughs> we're doing... Okay. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of this because we're actually funny children. sisters. Children. Okay, well, children. whatever. So we're doing a mukbang today. So I made a stir fry. Yum, yum, yum. We have tofu. We have zucchini. We have carrots. We have snow peas. We have baby corn, pak choy, garlic, onion, and broccolini. Tamari. Um, rice noodles and then for dessert I made a cherry crumble with some vegan cream so I'm so excited and oh I was meant to get my digestive enzyme that's okay we'll do that afterwards <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, it's okay. I'm getting started I'm all right and we're going to be talking and chatting while we're eating but you know join us for a plate of food because that's what most people are doing these days they're eating how is it delicious so if you don't like watching people eat, then this won't be the video for you. ASMR. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Good. Oh, I was like, what are you doing? Oh, wow, you're a mess. <laughs> oh, clean your face. Do I have it everywhere? No, you're good. So ask um, some questions. Alright. So I brought Irini on today. So I'm going to... Um, Irini, how old are you? 23. 22. <laughs> <laughs> you have a mess, you have sweet sauce in there! I got your towel. Um, 22. I don't know 22. I I'm 20. feeling 22. Two. Oh no, I forgot my water. <laughs> this is turning out into. Oh, <laughs> you know, my water's in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> no water for me. That's okay. <laughs> Why is it in the fridge? Because I put it in there to get cool. <laughs> Okay, so Irini is 22, and I just wanted her take. Irini is not as um, woo-woo woo -woo as I am, or as I like to refer to myself. So I just wanted a, a different perspective to mine, because I know I share a lot online about my point of view, re-everything that's going on in the world right now, and I just wanted to hear the perspective of someone who maybe doesn't see the spiritual aspect of this the way I do, and I feel that it will probably be more of a dominant perspective. So let's hear it. So how are you feeling? So what do you do for life? What's your career? Well, I'm currently a trainer, so a class trainer. So I run classes. For what? For a, for like fitness classes. Okay. Then yeah. I know you. Oh yeah. I run fitness classes and I'm also a PT. And I've currently just um, gone... I've been doing online training at the moment with my job, so that's pretty fun. I go there every morning and I run classes online. And so, how has it changed since all of this has happened? Uh, like, what was it before? We used to do. I used to wake up at four a.m. Go to my class. I used to do five fifteen, six fifteen, seven fifteen a.m. And then nine thirty. And then a nine thirty class in the morning. And then my other partner in crime, my boss, um, he used to do the night shift. But we used, we used to alternate weekends. So practically I was working probably 20 hours a week. Um, and just trying to find another job at the time. And yeah, this whole shit stick happened. Shit stick. <laughs> shit stick, everyone. <laughs> and what does that mean? What's shit stick mean? Like, uh, what do you feel has happened in the world? Um... A bit of a pandemic. I feel like everyone's just stopped to what they're doing. Everything's everything. You're doing everything online now. But why? Because of the corona. What is a corona? Virus. And where did it start? China. Have you been watching any of the news? Not really. I don't really care. Like, I care, but I don't care enough to really tune into 
the news. I feel like it's just negative. Negative, yeah. How do you feel that your friends are taking all of this? Some are good, some are bad. Um, I try to stay positive as much as I can and not really like tune into everything that's happening around the world. I just try to like stick to my daily goals and focus on like my well-being and my health and keep going on my online business. How do you feel it's affected you? The routine is different, so like not getting up early and not doing what I have to do all the time, but I'm trying to like adapt to getting up early anyway and doing other things like going for a run or like meditating or doing something different for my body. Do you feel that you've lost money since the, all of this happened? Yeah, I have. But I'm not letting it affect me. Hmm. So keeping like a positive mindset. Mm -hmm. What do you think is helping you keep a positive mindset this whole time? Friends and family. Any people in particular? Alex, no. <laughs> <laughs> you, mum, dad. Like I still talk to my friends via Facebook and Instagram and so you keep in contact with some clients and members and hearing from them every day which is really good and rewarding so it's good like that the fact that they're still training and still keeping healthy and fit so which is rewarding for me because I know even though we're not in a studio they're still making the time to train and work hard on themselves even though what's going on right now all right rate this food mm -hmm. 10 10 yeah 10 10 20 20 50s on them titties bitch mm -hmm. How are you finding the baby corn? It's alright. Good, yeah? Mm. i put you less than mine, but... It doesn't taste that bad when it's mixed. Yeah. How are you going with all this stuff? I honestly feel so good. I'm super aware or hyper-conscious of the fact that a lot of people feel overwhelmed. And feel stressed and feel confused and they're scared and I completely acknowledge that and because I feel so in alignment because obviously I've been practicing this for a very long time in the sense that being in alignment with myself I feel that it's also a responsibility of mine and a duty to be posting positive content and to be supporting people where I can and my focus has been on projecting love as much as I can and also being a bit more forgiving on the fact that you know, people have been a bit more irrational and people have been irritated and, you know, snapping at other people. And I'm just a lot more forgiving than I would normally be because I know that everyone's just feeling all of this pressure. And even within this perceived confinement in your home, it's that whole idea of you still feel like you have to work out and you have to, you know, stick to a clean diet and you have to learn a new skill and you have to do all of these things when really you don't have to do any of those things. You know, your mental health is incredibly important. And I know my friend Carlo shared recently um, on his Instagram, he shared a post on, on the fact that it's not being talked enough, about enough. And I agree completely that for a lot of people who were already vulnerable, I think that this experience has really amplified those feelings for them. And people who do suffer with depression and anxiety and all of that are feeling it more. Do you feel that you've got friends who are feeling deeper feelings than they would normally feel? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Has anyone opened up to you or is it just stuff that you're seeing online? Both. But I feel like, you know, the ones that are struggling through the, all this, you just genuinely just have to be positive with them and just explain to them that, like, you're there. Mm. And that the fact that this is not a long-time thing, like a long-term thing. Mm. And when everything does go back to normal, we're going to thrive through the success that we we, like, went through that you cultivated yeah yeah um what do you think going back to normal looks like do you think that we can go back to a world the way it was before um probably i feel like this is a learning curve to be more cautious of your health and well-being and be more you know aware that you know of your hygiene and you know, all that stuff. Do you think yeah. it has anything to do with um, deep state agendas? Now, I, I know that you won't know what that means. So that means, like, 
are there people do you think higher up who are trying to impose things like vaccines are trying to impose things like uh, a central bank where they control all of the money and all of the wealth probably and the way it's distributed do you believe that there's a correlation between what's happening in 5g do you know what 5g is mm -mm. so 5g is basically like you know on your phone how you have 4g right now it's the next level up so it's basically much faster connection than what would be 4g i think it's like something like 20 times as fast or something like that but the radiation that it emits is incredibly high mm -hmm. and there's a lot of study and research that has been done to show that there's a huge impact that it has on our health and well-being so you know there's a reason why they say not to go near your microwave yeah and there's a reason why in our household we don't have a microwave in the house yeah, because it emits radiation. So all of these 5G towers that are going up are emitting an incredible amount of correlation. And a lot of scientists have said, or people who have basically invested their entire lives into this research, have said that there's a correlation between the coronavirus cases and the 5G towers going up. Have you read anything about that or is this new information to you? I've heard it, but I don't didn't really. In. Okay, you didn't really know what that meant. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Not that I don't know what it meant. I didn't care. Oh, okay. You didn't yeah. care. I don't care. Okay. And do you feel that a lot of your friends would be the same? They just don't care about that stuff? Yep. Yeah. Would you refer to me as a conspiracy theorist? A little bit. Like, what do you and your friends sometimes refer to me as? Tree hugger. <laughs> <laughs> a tree hugger. And do you feel a lot of my friends are also, like, tree huggers? Probably, yeah. This was amazing, yeah, everyone. It's cold. <laughs> it's a mukbang, okay? Mukbang. Okay, I have my water next to me. <laughs> the shade. The shade over here. I really hope it's clear. What are you most looking forward to coming out of all of this? Just to get back into routine. So you like your routine? Mm-hmm. Do you go feel? back to the gym? Oh, I can't wait to the day the gym opens. I'm going to be there for like five hours. Do you feel that there's any part of you that will be different after all of this? Me more. Um, well, I'm pretty caring. Oh, just that. I'm pretty caring at the moment. But I feel caring like of what? Maybe probably like be more cautious when I'm around my grandma. If I know that I'm a little bit sick, I won't go visit her. Whereas beforehand, I'll be like, oh, I've got a bit of a sneeze. I'll still go see her. I'll be more conscious of my health around her. I'm about done. You have not. I can't. You know me. I'm more of a sweet. I even put more for myself. I know. I saw. I'm more of a sweet tooth, so I'm hanging for this crumble, which I won't start without my sis. Um... Let's move these things. I use tamari and Himalayan salt. Um, it's organic, gluten-free tamari. Yeah. All right. I also made this cream. Okay. It basically has. You gave me nothing. You can have more. <laughs> but I assumed you wanted it hot, so I that's how I left. We'll have more after this, guys. I'm sorry. Like that's just the truth. Um, I made this cream out of coconut cream, uh, maple syrup. Raw cashews, a little tiny splash of water, and I just blended it. Oh, and vanilla bean. I blended it, and it created this beautiful Sick. cream. And you can also freeze it. So for the rest that was left over, I put it in the freezer, and it'll become like ice cream. I don't want that much. All right, dig in. Oh, my God, I love this. Cheers. Mmm. Can't put too much cinnamon. Nah. I love extra cinnamon. Mmm. Anti-inflammatory. Mmm. This is actually an anti-inflammatory recipe that I created years ago when I had decided that I wanted to eat more anti-inflammatory foods. So tart cherries are really good for inflammation. Obviously cinnamon. What else was in there? There was anti-inflammatory. Coconut oil. Super anti-inflammatory. Um, any dark berries are pretty good as well. I sometimes, so to, this one also has blueberries. Um, what else is in there that, oh, flax meal. You have your flax meal in there. Mmm. I actually really like the cream. 
It's too sweet. It's so too sweet. Getting full, I told you. I'm looking out. Um, is there anything else that you think would help people during this experience right now? So if someone's watching this who just is feeling incredibly overwhelmed and stressed, what advice would you give them? Set yourself a goal daily. Anything. It could be not just physical but mentally as well. Like write down your goals, what you want to achieve in the next three months. And like focus on those aspects, not focus on social media as such and try and get off your phone as much as you can. But I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I've been on my phone all the time and it's causing me headaches. Because my body's not used to laying down and just on my phone. So I do want to stop using social media and maybe start reading or, you know. How can you actually do that though? Because it's good to say that. Yeah. But how well, do you feel that even you will start implementing that? Like today, what can you do to be on your phone less and to be doing things more? Do activities. Like, okay, I have a schedule. Write down what I want to do today. So, you know, I woke up, I ran a class online. Um, and then... I wrote down my exercises that I wanted to do at the gym and I did those exercises and then I came home and knew like me and my sister wanted to do this mukbang so I knew what, what time I had to be ready and then later I'm going to go to another class so I have structure in my day and then I'll get like the night before so tomorrow I'll know what I'm doing all day so I have no time to actually get on my phone and be like okay I'm going to go on TikTok for like five hours like because <laughs> it's just a waste pardon me a waste of time I agree. I have this concept called um, for my body, for my progress, and for my soul. And I always tell clients to do at least one thing for each of those areas a day. Now, one's the minimum. You could do more, of course. So for my body would be things like, you know, making, cooking food, because uh, I really enjoy that. I know it nourishes my body, makes me feel good that I'm eating these anti-inflammatory foods. I'm adding all the spices and all the things that I don't need, right? So for my body, working out every day. So I do like a 37-minute workout Every day here at home. Yeah, well, it's 37 <laughs> minutes. Um, and I know that that's for my body. And my body is grateful that the first thing I do every morning is do that. I do an enema. Right now, enemas are really good for you because they clear out the toxins. So if you're holding onto any toxins in your body, it helps you clear them out, right? So that's for my body. And I make sure I schedule those things in. And then I have for my progress, things like work. Yeah, I'm still working. I work from home anyway. I make sure that I'm still doing my work at home, reading, meditating. I've been meditating every single day. So I've actually been meditating um, every single day. So for me, I know that's for my progress. And then for my soul. For my soul are things like getting a big piece of chocolate and dipping it into hot tea and licking it off. And like, that's for my soul. And for my soul is scrolling a bit and connecting with people online. For my soul is watching Gilmore Girls on Netflix. You know, like, that's for my soul. So what do you feel you're doing for each of those categories? So like every day, what do you do for your body? I exercise every after my class. I just do a stretch and then I plan my workout. And it's fun when my boss is there so we can just chill and have a laugh together. And figure out like different exercises to add to the list when we do come back. Like we have positives. So we find out exercises we can actually do with bands and um, weight plates and kettlebells. And like we implement those that we've found to do and we'll start implementing them when we do come back to routine of running classes in the house and all that stuff so that's fun and i am on youtube but i'm on youtube to watch videos to how to on exercise and so you're answering my questions i said what are you doing for your party <laughs> now we're talking about youtube <laughs> <laughs> am i a rambler i know i also am on youtube but i'm on youtube <laughs> Okay, so for your body. Is there anything else you do for your body? What about, what about for your progress? Uh, so I've written, I bought, uh, <laughs> I bought a whiteboard from Kmart the other day. If you don't know what Kmart is, it's like Walmart or whatever. If you have any American subscribers. <laughs> First of all, I have 78 subscribers. <laughs> Maybe I'm from America. Probably like one person. <laughs> All the rest are my friends. <laughs> and I really appreciate you. I love you so much. But five of them only watch your videos. 
troll. <laughs> Hate her over right, here. Right, Hate her. Right. Here's the question. I'll see you again. What did you do for your progress? <laughs> So I bought a whiteboard the other day from Kmart, Walmart, <laughs> we get it, yeah. <laughs> and I wrote down what I wanted to achieve in the next three months. Because hypothetically, they said online that, oh, we're going to be in this pandemic or this isolation for three months. Whatever. So I, I was like, okay, this is a time for me to write down my goals and what I want to achieve in the next three months and how can I do that from eating clean. So like prepping my food or, you know, having time to exercise and putting that in place and drinking three liters of water a day. So that's the three things that I'm sticking to, eating clean, exercise, and drinking my water. And they're three things that I can do day to day. Okay, but that's for your body, yeah? So what's for your progress? <laughs> <laughs> Buying a whiteboard? <laughs> <laughs> or going to the gym and exercising? No, no, that's for your body, yeah? What's but, for your progress? Do you know what that means? Like, to be more, to do more, to give more. Like, how are you, are you learning any new skills? Okay. So, basically what you're saying is you go to the gym, a gym that has no people in it, just FYI. Mm. So you can learn new exercises that you can share with other people yeah. that avoid them using gym equipment. Yeah. yeah? Okay. So yeah. you're trying to be creative yeah. you're trying to get be... out of my comfort zone because okay. i'm so used to going to the gym and being like okay i'm gonna do lap pull down i'm gonna do seated row i'm gonna do this and this and this and whereas there's none of that there's none of that at, at this like it's a small studio gym it that it has weights and i'm grateful for that and it has bands and you can do so okay. much so for your body and for your progress have both been centered around food and fitness okay yeah. is that necessary for everyone though no Okay, so what would you say to someone who doesn't want to work out and doesn't want to learn new exercises and doesn't want to eat clean? Because it's okay if you don't want to eat clean, yeah? So, although we highly recommend it because mm, obviously eating say, eating clean helps you with your... Yeah, but you can't say that you're not eating junk food sometimes too. Yeah. Yeah. So, the point is, is a balance. It's not... Yeah, we're not trying to preach. Diet. Yeah, we're not trying to preach that you have to only eat clean, but you have to be aware of the toxic chemicals that are going into your body. So, refined sugar, for example, always in is... And inflammatory. It is not anti-inflammatory. It is inflammatory. And almost directly after consuming refined sugar, I will blow it up like a balloon, right? Like every single mm -hmm. time because my body knows that it's toxic. So it's just being mindful of that. Does that mean I don't eat sugar? No, I do. But does that mean I try to limit the amount of sugar consumption I have? Absolutely. All right. So for your body, for your progress, what do you do for your soul? The soul is the eating the chocolate cake. It's dancing in the mirror. It's scrolling. What do you do for your soul? scroll on tiktok and it's just so funny like you just like you realize and you're like i'm not the only one that's going through this and it's okay you feel human yeah like it's all okay and it's funny like i have a coach a boxing coach and he's phenomenal and he's just like to me always he's just like you're not the only one and i'm just like feels that bro like i feel that and we support each other and because we're like practically like he's a pt too so and he's currently not working right now, and I think he's feeling it more than I am because I'm still being able to go to the studio and train. I think he's doing the same thing, but he's it hit him hard because he's actually. I'm very passionate about my job, but he's my motivator. Like he he texts me randomly sometimes, and he's just like, keep keep doing you, keep going forward, and we're gonna thrive together. And that like the fact that he's doing that it makes me happy. So yeah, I feel like I need to be that bigger person now and be like. Hey you, like you're doing amazing and we're in this together and it's good to just hear that from a friend and a coach. So yeah. Thank you for joining me on my mukbang. It was delicious. It was really good. Yeah. I'm super full now though. Yeah. You're probably not going to have more crumble. Nope. Yeah. See, I told you. It was very sweet. I think it was fine. Even though I made it. We made it according to my recipe. Did you just want to add to the camera that you made it? You're like, what's next, Gregoria? Two cups of oats. What's next? <laughs> Two tablespoons of flax milk. What's next? Okay, so you assembled. Yeah, with my amazing lifting callus. All right, we get it, everyone. <laughs> She's a lifter, okay? Why you bragging? I need more water. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you for being here. If you need a little more positivity in your life, I have a free positivity rampage. <laughs> link is in the comment. No, link is in the description box below. 
please don't forget to like, share this video for a bit of fun, for a bit of lightheartedness, and subscribe to my channel because, you know, we want a few more than 78 subscribers, but I love you all regardless. Thank you for being here, thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in, and... Ooh, I just cracked. <laughs> 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 Zoltan. <laughs> Alright. Thank you for being here. We love you so much. Thank you, Irene, for coming on and eating food with me. This was delicious. If you want any of the recipes, that seems like a big job, but no, it's you not. can message me and I will post them for you. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. And remember, stay positive, whatever that looks like to you, and know that we are all in this together. We are one body and you are safe and you are protected and you are guided because you are of love and to love you shall return. And even if you have people in your life who may not understand that the way you understand that on a very spiritual level, they understand the concept of remaining positive and, and thinking about, you know, the future and being optimistic. So, you know, sometimes it's about reframing the way you articulate your perspective with people who may not necessarily consider themselves, you know, spiritual or woo-woo or all of those things. Because, you know, even when I talk to you, I know that you understand what I'm saying. Um, but, you know, for the tree huggers out there, I see you. I love you. Bye. 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 Bye.